Lots to talk about this week. So the video is all about how to sculpt on an iPhone. Yep, an iPhone, not an iPad like we normally do. We're gonna sculpt a spider droid from Star Wars and it's gonna be all done with an iPhone and a stylus with a big rubber tip. So if you're, if that's something that you've wanted to do for a while and you wanted to get into it, this is the video that's gonna help you. And it's actually part of the bonuses that go with our course that's just been released today. So let's take a little bit of a look at part of this video of how to get going on your iPhone. So this is Nomad, exactly the same as the iPad. Um, it's got some changes and there's some things that I think you should do if you're gonna do this kind of thing. So if you put it into landscape mode for a minute and then come up here and have a look at the settings, there's a few things we want to do. So first of all, make sure that all of these shortcuts are on. Every single one needs to be ticked. And that means we can see everything down here at the bottom left. And that helps straight away. Then go to display settings. We want a grid on. So we'll leave that on and that'll give us a good start. So that's the floor that we need. I'm gonna leave outline on. And if we go down here to outline, I'm gonna change that. This is exactly how I do it on an iPad. I'm gonna change the color to something really extreme. So that green really helps me see what I've got selected. Uh, I also want to go in and change a few of the uh, interface settings. So in the interface here at the bottom, come right down to the bottom and you want to change, let's come all the way down here. So you've got overall scale, which should be all the way down. You've got panel width, which should be all the way down. You've got font scale, which should be all the way down. And you've got vertical spacing, which, oops, I'll just change that. Vertical spacing, which needs to be whatever you prefer. But I, I like to go all the way down. It depends whether you can see it. Now I've got, you know, obviously I have glasses for almost everything. So, um, you know, it, it, I, I would go low on that one as well. And that means we've got a nice basic um, screen to start with. Uh, and Bowman Monk's basically a big spider. And as it's a big spider and we've got a sphere there straight away, then it's not really a massive issue to just use that as our as our base. So what I will do is I'll extend it out a little bit. I'm going to use a combination of my finger and the stylus. As you can see there, I'm pinching and zooming a lot with my finger. Uh, it's a really cramped screen, so don't expect um, anywhere near the iPad's kind of space. You, you, you can do a four finger tap as you'll see, and that gives you a nice clear screen. So that definitely does help while you're using um, the, the, the iPhone, um, but it's 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 never gonna match what you're gonna get on, on the iPad. So let's do some sculpting. So I need some tools back. So four finger tap it back. And then I want to do something like clay. And you've got here, you've got radius and your intensity. And just make sure that symmetry is on there. You can see that and you can just start sculpting like so. Now you'll straight away notice there's a problem because I want to smooth this down and you can't see smooth there on the right. And if I just turn the screen for a moment, you can see that all of these tools come down here on the, on the uh, right hand side and that's where smooth is. So for a few minutes, I'm just gonna work this way. And I suggest most of the time you work vertically with this up the side and that gives you a much better spread of the tools. I just know that every now and again, I'm gonna want to go and change that back to my um, horizontal um, kind of, you know, the, the, the landscape kind of view. To, to make sure I can, uh, you know, when I've got a wider creature, then this is quite tall, which is quite useful. This is just the back of the, uh, I've done a mask there by mistake. This is the back of the, of the character. And I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna come to the scene menu and use duplicate. And now back to the, down here to gizmo. And I'm gonna shrink that down in size, bring it forward like so. And then I'm looking at it. Remember, it's basically a spider, so it has, you know, it has exactly the same anatomy as, as a spider. Um, and this comes back in here. It's not like an insect, so it doesn't have the same head, thorax, and abdomen. It, it basically just has this carapace. This is the back, and then that goes straight into that abdomen there. 
and that's exactly what you see on on Bomar Monk. Now he is a droid, obviously, so he's not, um, you know, he isn't a real spider, but he's based on something like that. So we'll smooth that down. I think it's time we change the material actually. So let's have a look. Um, let's come back up to the top, and we'll just change it. We're on matte cap, so that's fine. And we'll just look for something a little bit. I haven't got all of my um, saved materials here. So we're limited to just what we get free with Nomad. I'm um, just seeing which one looks good uh, for now. Maybe that. That gives us like the, the nice metallic look. That'll do for now. Yep. So I need to make some legs. And there's one tool that I love. Now I'm just going to go back to my landscape for a minute. And I'm going to come up here. And... Let's get right to the top. And we want this tool here, triplanar. And what triplanar does, it's the same as a shadow box in ZBrush. So just for a minute, I'm going to go back to this menu and I'm just going to turn everything else off so I can just see the triplanar there. And then this is where you have to make sure that your your masking is off rather than on. You can see there, it, with any masking at all, it's going to be on like so so that's gone and now what we want to do is we just want to draw on one side of this so I want a really small brush like so and then I just want to draw up here so symmetry off unmask off draw up here along here and down here and the bottom this is going to be one leg and we're going to clean it off and trim it off, but that'll be a good start for us there like that. I could, if I wanted to, just do this bar across here, but I don't think I need that really. I think it, it, we, we, we can do that once we get um, the basic shape. So if you're happy with that, you need to validate it. And sometimes you, you can't see the validate buttons here. Uh, it, 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 I, I tried to see if it was up there, but I couldn't see it. So I had to go back in here to validate. And then because I've made it, I didn't do it from two dimensions, I did one, then I would just do this and just bring that down to, to a really thin profile like that. So that's enough for the top of the leg for me. Now, I happen to know that it's got a couple of spurs off that, so I need a couple of things and a couple of additional um, tools. So I need a cylinder. And before I do the cylinder, I want to change the parameters. So I want, it says same radius, so knock that off. And I want the start radius to be a lot thinner than the end radius. And I want the height to be quite extreme. So I'm going to make it much smaller. And then keep doing it like that. And that will give me the, the kind of spider's end, you know, the, 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 the end leg, the, or the, the end digit. Well, I can't remember what it's called on a spider. But it's that, 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 that last, um, what I assume is possibly a tarsal. I can't remember exactly what the, the terminology is. But anyway, it's a robot, so I'm, I can say whatever I want, really. Um, that's what you normally say when you, you haven't got a clue what to what it is. Um, so that's that one done. Now we can you we need another cylinder. I'm we'll keep trying to name it there. So I'll do another cylinder, and we'll keep that as a cylinder. We don't need to change any of the parameters on this. And we'll validate it, scale it down. Scale it right down, and then I'm going to extend it up. I could have just done it with the height, actually, couldn't I? But it doesn't matter. So we'll just extend it all the way up, and then rotate it round. And now we can zoom back in, and you can see I'm zooming in. Now, what I did do while I was doing uh, the prep for this video, which I thought was really cool, is I started broadcasting this, or, or sorry, projecting this to a TV. So I actually did um you know i was working on a on a 42 inch telly uh while i was doing the the, the sculpting which was actually re a really cool experience and um, so i've got one there and i want to make it into into like a piston really so i'm going to go up to the top menu here duplicate that and then scale that one down on that axis and then up on that one we'll bring that up there and then duplicate that and bring it down and there we go we've got we've almost got a, a you know we've got most of the shape of the of the leg in place now already so i want to do i want to put a couple of um a couple more of them actually so i want another cylinder 
and I want to rotate it. Now I could numerically rotate it, but I'm not overly worried about this because it's just really quite a, a quick tutorial to show you how you, that you can do this on the iPhone. So if you want to do this properly, you can go in and change that that the parameters for that um, just to 90 degrees. Validate that one, and that one goes there. A bit too big. It's not actually doing too bad this pen. Um, I thought it would be a pain, but the, I mean, this is a whack on bamboo. They don't really talk about these because they're just, you know, very um, common styluses now. Uh, and, and and you can get a lot of different pens. I like there's one called a Siskel. If you take a look for for that online, that's that's got a, a slightly different kind of nib to this. Um, but I do like that. That's that's one that I use quite a lot for this this kind of work. I just thought it would be quite cool to try it with the the lowest common denominator. So that's one of these fat rubber tips um, that you know that, that you you generally can't get amazing results out of. But we, you know, as you can see here, we are sculpting. We're we're getting the job done. So it does work. Uh, and I just want to put a piston. Oh, not a piston, but I just want to put a bit more detail there at the back. I'll duplicate that again. See all these duplications here. We're going to have to change these in a minute. Now, with with working on the iPhone, you'll notice I'm using the um, pen and my fingers a lot more. I think it's one of the you know one of the things that I noticed with um, with the smaller screen. I'm definitely having to utilize what I've got and you can see how big this you know I've got quite big hands and, and, and you know it is doable but if, I mean if you've got smaller hands you're going to be in a much better place there than me to, to, to do this kind of thing now with this I've just realized I think what I'll do is I'll I'll make it go less length bring it up to the top and then I'll duplicate that again and then I'll shrink that one down and then bring that down like that. So it looks like it's got more segments in there. And I'll just rotate it a tiny bit. Let's just make sure that fits now. There we go. Just make it a little bit longer. There we go. And zoom right in to make sure we're okay and we are actually connecting. I probably will print this at a later stage, so I want to make sure that everything is intersecting well. Now, let's join all of these together with a simple merge. So I'm going to join everything I can see that isn't, obviously, well, everything I can see, basically, um, so, because obviously we've got the eyes off on all the other, and we just need a simple merge. We don't need anything else. So let's quickly turn on the others so we can see where we're at. And that looks good. And then we need to scale him up the leg and we'll bring it over like this. Whoops. We'll bring it around like this. We don't want to angle it at all. We just want to bring that as the front leg. Like so. This is a little bit fiddly now. I'm just trying to get the arrow is what's fiddly. And bear in mind with a spider, all, all of the um, all of the legs should be coming off this front part. You know, there's nothing comes off that abdomen at all. So don't be tempted to make it look, you know, you know, don't don't go off the, the, the design. You know, nature's done a really good job here, so we shouldn't change it. Um, I am talking about it like it is a real spider, which obviously it isn't. But you know, the, the you know designs work for a reason, and you know, and a spider is such a well-designed creature. Um, been around for millions of years, so here we are doing a droid based off that. You know what 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 nature has has done, and you know what's you know wh where it's evolved into that creature. It's just such a fantastic design. And there we go. We've got three legs on there. And we'll make that one a bit bigger at the back and we'll bring it out a bit more. And we'll bring that one forward a bit more. Like so. And that one a tiny bit forward. And, and tiny bit forward that way. There we go. So that's all three of them together now. And that looks good. Now the floor's too high there, but we can address that in a moment. So I think what I'll do is I'll join them three simple merge and then I'll do a mirror across so with this you just make sure you do um, uh, reset world origin 
and you want flip and I think it's left and right here yet yeah, is there you go and there's your spider body done change the camera to perspective so we can have a look at it a bit you know a bit, bit closer to what it looks like could move the floor down but there's no harm here in just moving all of these items up as we as we readjust everything so shouldn't be a problem just bringing that up and bringing that up to the right level and let's let's bring that abdomen back out a little bit and I might even just use the move and then I'll go because it because I, I remember it's a little bit strange here um, so bring down the intensity and up on the brush so I just want to point this this out a little bit and then bring that down so it goes down behind that front bit and there are actually ridges in him uh, in the body there so I'm going to use crease I think um, crease should give us a nice like so it should give us the effect that we want for the for the actual character it's almost like a little bit like a balloon at the back it's a bit strange that'll that'll be enough for us there now what we do need is we need to do something it's got a brain now now it's completely the next bit is off the, the the design completely so we want something that's like a tube at the front and instead of worrying about creating a tube we could actually use a tube um but that could be well fiddly on here let's go in and have a look at say for example a torus that will work for me for what i want and then we're going to come round here. We need to rotate it 90 degrees. So by all means, do it numerically if that's something that you want to do. Um, remember, it needs to be validated. Scale it up. I'm going to bring it out where it belongs. So somewhere there. Scale it down again. This is going to have like a brain cavity on the end of it. Oh, not a brain cavity, like a brain, like a bottle in a, a, a brain in a bottle, something like that. Um, down a bit smaller. I'm actually looking at a reference on a PC in front of me, so when I'm talking about it, it's because I'm actually doing it from, from that reference. There we go, and then we'll just use trim. So we'll come up here and we'll look for trim. And we just want to trim that off. So trim, and then we'll use trim rectangle and boom that's gone back to view and that's given us what we needed there and now all it is is simply a sphere so we guess sphere let's put that in the right place I need two of these actually, or three of these even. So there's the first one. Bring it down into size a little bit. Validate it. Yeah, that one's fine. So we will, oops, we will validate it that. So we're going to duplicate that twice. I'm going to hide them two. So I'm working on just the one we started with. And then I'm going to trim that across. So trim again and rectangle again. Whoops. And rectangle. And that gets rid of the bottom. Then we want to bring the next one on. And we want to scale that down. Tiny, tiny bit. And then we want to change the material on that. So we'll go material... Let's just change the, first of all, we'll change the mat gap. I think now we're going to switch, actually. I'm going to change it up a little bit here. So I'm going to change the HDRI. So I've gone from mat cap over to PBR now. So this is physically based rendering. So yes, here we are doing PBR models on an iPad. And now two, well, three fingers, I can roll the light round, as you can see. Um, so that's worked well. And now I'm going to zoom in on this one 
now I can do what was happening was I couldn't do um, what I'm trying to do here which is go to the bottom of here and I wanted to make the opacity down so I want blending and down like so let me just change the color of it so I want to go up here can't see the color on the side so I'm going to have to do it down here on the side and we'll just go to this nice one here and force paint that and as it's transparent it's already working so that's absolutely fine so you can see that it's transparent there and then we bring the last one in bring it on and bring it down in size and this is the brain so we need to go and oops offside that hopefully you can see that inside it and then we'll go back to the painting and we want this one to be um, to something like this red colour or something like that. And then force paint that. Um, and then maybe, let me just click off that so I can see it. Maybe that one needs its transparency a little bit less. So let's go back in again. Blending, bring that down. There you go. Now you can see through it and I'll scale that down a tiny bit and there we go. That's probably enough for what we want to do on a, on a, uh, an iPhone. Um, and then let me turn the outline off so it stops becoming a pain as we're, as we're looking. So outline off. And there you go. You've got your Bomar Monk in 15 or 20 minutes on an iPhone. So let's add some lights so we'll come up to the top we'll add a light there you go and we can rotate that around however we wish give it a little bit of dramatic lighting from the back let's change the color of that light change it to a spotlight and we'll change it to red so it's got a little bit you know a bit fierce and we'll bring it up from the back And there we go and then we'll add one more light this is what we normally do we do a three point light um, we'll do white for this one change it to a spotlight rotate it around let's hide those lights now so we go light icons hide we'll do um, we'll leave the floor grid on because it looks quite cool and then we'll go to post processing and we'll Come up here and we'll go quality on we want ambient occlusion so now that'll give us a little bit of a um, you can see it just affects it a little makes it darker in the dark areas as you know and um, what else do we want on with post processing we want depth of field on make that a lot keep doing that by mistake we want our curvature on so we get some nice lines um, and a vignette and a bit of sharpness and there you go you've got your bomar monk spider creature in or on your iphone uh, in a matter of minutes look at the depth of field there that just shows how much um how many features there are in here let me do four finger tap you'll see what that does and there you go you can see we've got our lovely spider-like creature in next to no time so i hope you appreciate um you know this isn't anywhere near the experience we get on our ipads with nomad sculpt but we're on an iphone here and we're sculpting doing effectively hard surface sculpting on an iphone with a, a really a cheesy rubber tipped uh, bamboo pen so have a go at that let me see what you can do with it because it's quite amazing that we can do this um and then we can uh, we can have a look at our other robot videos when we get a minute. So along with this video, we released our latest course, which is one of our mini courses. And it's all about how to sculpt a droid on your iPad. Take a look at the links below and it's got details of how you can get the course.
you really need to have some basic understanding of sculpting, hopefully with our beginners course. Our mini courses are going to be under three hours long, which means you don't have to invest a huge amount of time to complete the course. I hope you're enjoying these videos and if you do, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It does help us to get in front of other artists who like this kind of content. And if you do like it, then consider subscribing and we'll let you know when we release new content, which is every week, usually on a Wednesday or a Friday.